Right here in El Dorado County, nestled amongst the mountains at an elevation over 6,000 feet, is the beautiful city of South Lake Tahoe. A vacation destination. But what if you loaded up the family car, dropped the family's vacation fund on a beautiful rental property you found on the internet, and drove up to South Lake Tahoe on that Friday night to start this year's family vacation, only to find this. Now, the nightmare begins. You just realized you've been scammed. Family vacation fund gone. Hopes and dreams for a great vacation gone. What are the possibilities of driving all the way back home tonight? Unlikely. Who do you call? Where do you go? This can't be happening, right? You then call the contact person you sent all your money to, only to hear this. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Your next call is to local law enforcement, and they are obligated to take a courtesy report. But the reality is there's not much they can do for your immediate situation. The fact of the matter is a suspect or suspects live out of the state or even out of the country. The next step is for you to find a place for your family to stay, and on a busy Lake Tahoe weekend, it usually looks a lot like this. Though these cases in the past have seemingly been very difficult to solve, the El Dorado County District Attorney's Office continues to use new investigative tools, techniques, and internet tactics in an attempt to hold these scammers accountable for their actions. This year has actually been the worst that has actually happened with this home. I had six or seven of my larger homes that have been scammed on as well. In the last six months, I've actually had to redo my website because whoever is doing this through Craigslist actually copies everything that I have, my pictures, inquiries, all of my notes that go along with this home and all my other homes. They're not charging what I'm charging, they're doing half price or less. It looks like it's a legit situation and it's not. Do your research and make sure that it's a legit website. Talk to the person, be able to communicate. Make sure it's a Visa MasterCard. You're not doing anything through a PayPal situation. You're not doing anything through going uh, wire transfers. Have the common sense really to make sure that this is legit for you before you send any money or information. If you feel as though you've been a victim of a vacation rental scam, please contact the local law enforcement agency in your area. And remember, if it sounds too good to be true, Probably is.